In the previous video, I've given you a brief overview of how the builder works. If you haven't checked out that video, please check it out. You're going to find information about each of the sequences and how they work. Uh, in that video, we've also spoken about rules and also the block list. In this video, I'm going to teach you what each of the blocks in the add and send content area means. So I'm going to go to a demo chatbot that we've already created, which is already connected to a channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your first chatbot using add and set content blocks. So in the over here, as you can see in the welcome message, you can already see there's a text message over here saying, hello, what are you looking to buy? You can customize this text according to your own liking. But for this video's purpose, we're going to make a new one and we're just going to remove this. You can also remove the block and add a new one. So let's say I do that and I put in a text, text block. So over here, I say hello there. This is for a tutorial video. What will happen over here is that this is going to be the first message that your customer or your users are going to see once they come into your platform or your channel. You can also connect a rule. For instance, when I, I've already connected the two rules over here, one of them being hi, the other one being hello. And whenever a customer types this, it's going to redirect a customer into a welcome sequence. So I'm going to show you what the customer will see first of all. Then I'm going to move on to the next ones. So let's go to Facebook. And this, this chatbot is connected up to our Facebook Messenger Alice Tutorials chatbot. And over here, if I just click on Get Started, And you wait for a few seconds, and it's going to show you the welcome sequence, which is going to be this. Hello there. This is for a view tutorial video. So we customize this over here. So now we move on to our next one, where I'll create a new sequence. And I'll show you the contents of add and send content blocks test. I'm going to show you some of the blocks that, are, that is available for add and send content. So from here, you've already seen how the text block works. I'm going to show you how an image block works. So let's say, for instance, you want to you want to send a picture of shoes to your customer, right? So let's say it's going to be this pair of red shoes. So I save the picture in my desktop. And then if I want to send it to a customer, I just upload it over here. And I save it. And I also attach a rule to it. So let's say it's going to be the keyword is going to be picture. So whenever a customer comes into your platform and types any of the keyword which is connected to a sequence for this sequence is picture. I put it over here and this is going to trigger the sequence which is going to be showing you the image. As you can see, it has come over here. Similarly, you can also can you also you can also connect other blocks over here or you can insert other blocks and this could be for instance video which is going to show a video audio which is going to show you an audio but I'm going to move on to the next ones which is going to be buttons and block uh, quick replies these are basically buttons which you can see in Facebook so this is a button block you can connect multiple buttons. So over here, you can connect a button. Let's say this is the first button. This, let's say it's first. And you can send them to a different sequence as well. So let's say it's shoes. You can send them to a different sequence. You can also create and connect another button. So let's say this is second. And this will show you skincare products right and you save these changes and let's remove this picture for now and if i go again and type picture this is going to trigger, trigger the button block the quick reply block also works in a similar way with a few different functionalities we're going to go over that later and also we're going to show you how the gallery works in the next video thank you for watching if you have any questions contact us thank you